Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy. Sorry for the disheveled look. I haven't shaved since I met the mayor last Friday. Um, but this is going to be a video talking about DPI deviation and why I don't think it matters personally. And I think that it is really being blown out of proportion. As a mass reviewer, I've been getting so many comments about DPI deviation ever since Optimum Tech posted this video. And I just want to go on the record and say that I'm a big fan of Optimum Tech. I don't have any problems with him. And I think the message that he sends in the video is solid, but it's just, I guess, the title DPI deviation is worse than I thought people are just like thinking that it's a huge issue and he does show some graphs in the video so he um, specifically the mm710 that just has horrible DPI deviation so when I recently posted a video on the cooler master mm712 I was getting spammed with comments about DPI deviation so I just wanted to make a video um, basically saying that there are so many more important factors than DPI deviation like people bringing this up are like considering it as a reason not to buy a mouse like dude it just means that the DPI is slightly like miscalibrated if it says 400 and it's on 415 that is not a real issue if you feel like it's a bit fast you know what you can do you can lower your sensitivity it's a groundbreaking thought but yeah imagine you switch from an 80 gram mouse to a 60 gram mouse and you're like man the 60 gram mouse feels faster and you attribute that to dpi deviation instead of the fact that it is a significantly lighter object something that affects dpi deviation is going to be mouse skates obviously the mouse is set up to be calibrated like with the stock skates at the stock thickness if you switch out the skates let's say there's 0.65 millimeters to something that's 0.85 millimeters that is going to affect the dpi but what about as you wear out those skates that are 0.85 millimeters the dpi is going to be ever changing as the mouse skates are wearing down is that worth autistically obsessing over obviously not just use whatever feels the best in game don't try to stay true to like the default dpi also having a sensor ring or not is going to affect dpi deviation i would argue that sensor position and the actual like angles that the movements are going to register from has a much bigger effect on overall mouse feel than dpi deviation so i just I really cannot understand why people care about it so much. I don't know if it's a lot of people's first time like ever hearing about it. But yeah, it would be nice if my comments could stop being spammed about DPI deviation. I would recommend everybody to watch Optimum Tech's video. Once again, no issue with his content. And the last thing he says in the video is to adjust based on feel and not try to like copy your exact sense or anybody's sense. So totally agree with that. And if you've been watching my reviews for a while, you'll know that sometimes I actually do mention DPI deviation. Like if it's especially apparent, it's just something that I'll mention. It's never like an actual issue that takes anything away from the mouse since it's not an actual sensor performance issue. If there's like inconsistency in the DPI that's being tracked on like every flick, then that's going to be an issue. But just like the DPI being slightly off from the target DPI it's it's just not a real issue man i have been reviewing mice for a while i've known that every mouse on my desk is not going to feel the same it's just pretty obvious and it's never been an issue i will change my sense all the time based on the weight of the mouse the type of mouse pad i'm using just slightly changing the sense based on feel and i recommend other people do it rather than religiously sticking to a sensitivity um but yeah i don't know what else there is to say on this video once again shout out to optimum tech how many optimum tech shout outs is that three and yeah be sure to let me know what you think about dpi deviation i just hope this video can sort of calm the mass panic um, because it's been an issue on mice forever if you want to consider it an issue um, but if not you're just pretty aware that all mice are going to feel different maybe i can start some mass panic of my own like if you're using a mouse pad with lower friction levels the mouse is going to feel faster so you might want to lower your sense accordingly um, even if you have the same dpi across multiple mice if one is lighter and on a lower friction mouse pad it's gonna feel faster that that's gonna fucking blow some people's minds but make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and that's gonna be all peace